All right, here's a good question. Um, and this is a good one that uh, you, ha you have to sort of uh, see what you have in the question. And B P one T one, um, and depending on what's in the question, then uh, you get to pick your formula. So we have all the Boyles and Charles, Avogadro, uh, Gay Lussac combined gas law, but we also have the um, uh, ideal gas law, um, and we also have this idea that um, twenty two point four liters of volume hold one mole of gas, and this is at STP. Okay, so um, let's just see what the question is and what, what we'll have to do. So it says I have a volume of uh, gas. So I have a volume. Let me just change that to liters, 0 0.0439 liters of gas, and it's at STP. So that's standard temperature and standard pressure. So standard pressure is 100.0 kilopascals. Uh, standard temperature is 25, no, not 25, zero. So it's 273.15 Kelvin. Uh, number of moles, uh, oh, that's what it's asking. So it's asking for grams, which we can get for moles. Now, it doesn't give me any second pressure, volume, temperature, or moles. So these are out. Therefore, all of these are out. Because those are laws that help me look at relationships between a volume one and a volume two, and then another, um, another property. So the only formula that involves all of those is this one. Um, all of those when you're not changing the pressure, volume, temperature, or number of moles. Okay. So I have PV equals NRT. They're saying how many grams of hydrogen in there? Grams and moles are linked, right? So I'm going to solve for moles. So moles will be PV over RT. Make sure you do that conversion or the formula manipulation correctly. Okay, so the pressure, 100.0 kilopascals times the volume, uh, 0 0.0439 liters divided by uh, R, um, and that's the universal gas constant. So 8.314, I think is what we use. And that's kilopascal liters per Kelvin mole. And when I say per, I'm just going across that line there instead of putting another fraction down below. Times the temperature, and the temperature has to be in the Kelvin, oh, which it is there. So 273.15 Kelvin. Let's see, units, kilopascals go, liters go, Kelvins go, and so I'm left with moles. Okay, so the moles are going to be equal to, let's do this on our machine. Okay, so 100 times 0 0.0439 divided by, and then I'm going to put these two in brackets, so bracket 8.314 times uh, 273.15. Go! So this gives me a number of moles of 0 0.00193309.54 moles. Okay, now I need to convert that to... Um, uh, mass, and so I'll use this formula. Moles is equal to mass over molar mass. So mass then is equal to moles times molar mass. My moles I just have 00193309.54 times the molar mass is 2.02 grams per mole. So I'll take that number that I had this was moles, I forgot to write my unit. Take the number I had in my calculator and times it by 2.02. Okay, so I'm getting 0 0.00390485, etc. grams of hydrogen. So that little 43.9 mil sample, 
at STP would contain not many grams. You could probably call that 3.9. And to do sig figs, I'm looking at 3 everywhere. Uh, so 3.90 milligrams. So not that much.